Welcome to Dudes on Food. I'm Sawyer. And I'm Jake. This week's episode, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Thanksgiving. What is your favorite meal? There's only one meal. Okay, what is your favorite food in the meal? Sorry. But we're going to say this on, on the countdown from three. Okay. Three, two, one. Green Stuffing. bean casserole. You mean, let's talk about this for a second. The green bean casserole might be one of the most underrated meals at Thanksgiving, dishes at Thanksgiving. I feel but like it's, it's, it's kind delicious. of isolated to certain areas of the country. Yeah, some people, you either love it or you hate it. And if you hate it, I hate you. You know what another alternative is? I've been to a lot of Thanksgiving dinners in my life. I love a lot of people who don't have green bean casserole go with cheesy broccoli casserole, That's which is bad. just as good. It's not bad, but I take I prefer, yeah, I prefer green bean. There's something about it. It's just it's like creamy and warm and crunchy at the same time, man. Let's wait. Let's talk about stuffing for a minute. Okay, or, stuffing. As people say, filling. It's stuffing, okay? Yeah. It's, um, it's amazing. It's delicious, okay? So, would do you, I'm assuming the Klein family has stuffing on Thanksgiving? We do have stuffing. Do you have, um, like, homemade stuffing or box stuffing? I personally, I prefer box stuffing, but... My family makes their own, which I can't deny. It's delicious, but can't go wrong with any form of stuffing. Yeah, the stuffing is delicious. It's like, do you put gravy on yours when you eat it? Is that, oh, is that just me? My plate during Thanksgiving covered. is covered in that, yeah. like corn mixed with this and that. It's like all my food touches. Some cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce, not a fan of it. I don't like sweet. If I'm gonna go sweet, I'm going sweet potato casseroles. My favorite. Throw without the marshmallows. With the marshmallows. Yeah. Yeah. With. Okay. You can never. Oh wait. Actually, I've had it with marshmallows, but I've had pecans in it too, which is amazing. Both. It's too, you can't go wrong. Okay. I forgot. So we've been talking about all the side dishes, but we're kind of avoiding the bird, big turkey, which is most known for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. So what do you like about it? I don't like a dry bird. I don't like a dry turkey on Thanksgiving. I like it to be. Moist. Mm -hmm. I like it to yeah. seep juices when you bite into it. Yeah. White or dark meat? Both. Both? Both. I like well, both. Okay. What's your what do you, what would you grab first? It depends, honestly. Last year I grabbed dark meat. Usually I grab light meat, but let me just tell you this. If you could do the traditional, I know it's dangerous, stuffing inside the turkey, okay. would you do it? I'd have to say no, honestly. Okay, but you had a side of stuffing, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'd do it. I'd love to do that, but I feel like it'd be such a hassle to cut up. Like, you cut your slice You have out. to scoop the stuffing out. Yeah. You'd have to get one of the real long spoon. You basically can just do it yourself with what you're going to get. Yeah. So, wait, here's the question. How do you prefer turkey duck? See, like, you can, you can throw it in the oven, which is oh. probably a traditional way. You can drop that thing in a deep fryer, and it's just... That's so pretty dangerous. You hear it all the time. Oh, you think people drop? Yeah. yeah, people like have it explode like a moonshine distillery. But in it's house. really good if it's done right. Yeah. It's like hot wings, but it's turkey. Okay, let me ask you this question. What are your favorite beverages on Thanksgiving? <sighs> wow. Um, you can't go wrong with water, obviously. I feel like you gotta swing for the fences on. Thanksgiving. Water's kind of... I drink, yeah, but listen, I'm a big fan of water, okay? And it, you can't go wrong with that, but I usually take like a Coke or a Dr. Pepper on the side. Like, crack the can open and pour it in a cup of some ice. Just, that's... Welch's sparkling grape juice. That's delicious. I actually have it. That's what I have. Christmas and Thanksgiving. So, besides the meal, let's be honest. Even though you're having like triple the amount of food you have on an average day, Somehow, some way, you're still hungry. Like you just keep eating. So, what are some sides and snacks that you have on Thanksgiving that help you get through the day? You mean, okay, is this before the main meal or after? Both. Okay, so before I'd probably say some cheese, some crackers, you know, just light stuff to get you in the zone of the food, the main meal. 
and then after it, you sit down and watch some football, you're going to have some, like, some pie, some pecan pie, some um, pumpkin pie, apple, cherry. All They're all pies. available. So what, what is your favorite pie? I'd have to say pecan pie. Oh, I love it. I think pumpkin is overrated for the time of year, but it's, it's I love a nice warm apple and pecan pie. That's delicious. What about, um, would you consider a deviled egg? That's that's a snack slash meal. That's before slash, yeah. Yeah, you can eat it other, uh, anyway. What about, it's, just, it's a good universal vehicle for food. What about pickled eggs? Pickled eggs are delicious. I feel like those are beets. Yeah, I feel like that's a meal food. That's though. during meal. Because it's a mess. Messy foods go with the meal. No, it's not a mess. It's just... I'd say anything you have to eat with a fork goes with the meal. Yeah, I agree. So, like, you're going to eat the beets with a fork. But you technically, by, by, by that meal. same token, then that would mean pie goes with the meal. I feel like pie is a post-meal. That's, part, that's of meal. part of the meal. I agree. I agree. All right. So, you just had eight slices of turkey. You've had two servings, two plates worth of green bean casserole. My mom has to make it. So you're laying on the couch, and you start to get that warm food buzz come over you. And you're laying there, and you drift off to sleep, and then you wake up. What are you doing after your nap? Getting more food. Getting more food and watching football. You're getting a cold turkey, like, an hour after Thanksgiving, there's going to be sliced up turkey in the fridge. A little bit warm on the inside, but cold on the outside. Yeah, you can tell that you can tell that it was at the prime of its life, like an hour. Yeah. You know, just like, but it's still delicious. It's okay. Good. So... We're off how many days for Thanksgiving? We get a half day Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday. I thought Monday. Monday, dear day. Dear day. Only in central Pennsylvania. Only in PA. Yeah. So, what are some leftovers and or what do you eat on Thanksgiving break to get you through? Um, after the big meal, there's a ton of leftovers, which is completely okay with me. Yeah. I usually take the turkey. I'd go with... Probably, I'd take the stuffing first. Cold stuffing is delicious. And then I'd eat the turkey next. I'd say stuffing mm. is best when it's like, you put it in the microwave for like not the amount to get it warm, but kind of like, yeah. you can tell it's getting there. So it's kind of, it's like sweaty. Yeah. It's like, it's juicy. It's moist. Yeah. It's moist. Yeah. It's delicious. So what, what about a nice turkey sandwich? You put some, you know, many slabs of turkey, mayonnaise, lettuce on that. Dude, take the pepper shaker and just... So much pepper. I just love the pepper. What I do is I leave my grandmother's house and my, my family members put basically the majority of the leftover food, unless they're the selfish family members, and then they take their own food home without regard for me. Then they put in their food, they put it in the back of my mom's car, and there's like a 99% chance that there's green bean casserole in there, a lot of it. And when I sit down the next day, I'm eating a whole tub of green bean casserole. Like mm -hmm. If it's this big, I'm eating all yeah. of it. It doesn't matter. I take a challenge. Here's the question, though. It's the day after Thanksgiving. You're sad that it's over. You wake up, what, like, what time? Nine? Ten? You sleep in, obviously. Yeah. Is it okay to eat the leftover turkey and stuff for breakfast? Yeah. The Three days. meals a day until it's all gone are Thanksgiving leftovers. Yeah. So buy cereal, buy any other form of food until it... You eat it all. So, what setting? Where where does the Hoover family have Thanksgiving? Okay, you have so multiple meals. One meal per Thanksgiving, which is sad, but it happens. Um, every other year, do it at my family's house, my direct family, and then the other years after that, we go to my aunt's house, and just the entire family is there. We just all eat. It's really good. See the Klein family. I start off my day at my father's house. A nice, traditional, great meal. Can't go wrong. And then I drive across town to my grandmother's house, where I just, like in, like three hours later, I'm chowing down some more. So there's two meals under my belt. That's with my mother. That's with her side of the family. But then, recently, my girlfriend and I have been making the pilgrimage back to Altoona, from one county back to Altoona, to eat at her grandparents' house later that night. So I'm coming in with three dinners, and then usually my grandmother on my stepfather's side comes, and we chow down to some nice food with her. So it sounds like you go to a lot of places, yeah. but what do you think the ideal time is for the meal? Ideal time, noon and or three. Yeah, I'm saying any noon to two is my yeah. 
perfect scenario. It's Actually, usually about usually about one when the meal's served for me. Because no, I was just gonna say that noon is like the traditional lunch time, like when you start getting hungry. But three o'clock, I feel like is it's no man's land. I feel like three perfect. yeah three o'clock is like okay this day is about food so we're gonna put it right in the middle of the day. So like I, I would say one o'clock for me, but um. You eat your meal at 1 o'clock. You eat a small breakfast, eat your meal at 1 o'clock. Sometimes no breakfast. That's the best because then you can just eat more. But, and then right around like 4 or 5, the snacks start coming out. And then like 8 or 9, leftover. Like every time you walk past that part of the kitchen, you're like reaching yeah, and you have some more food. Like even if you get a red Solo cup and just dump beans in it. Just gravy in it, I drink it. My family would drink gravy. I'm being serious. Okay. But Here's, after you... Judging by us, we love food. Yeah. You feel obese after you have mm -hmm. a meal. How long, how many days, or even hours until you feel like you're back at your normal weight? Probably like 12 hours for me, I'd feel fine. Maybe 24 hours. See, with all those meals, it takes me at least like the weekend to feel oh, like wow. I'm So, But I go to the gym, so I get it back off. No, listen, here's the thing. You don't have to just eat Thanksgiving once a year. Every year in the summer, we have Thanksgiving again. We don't call it Thanksgiving, but ex same exact meals. Why didn't you mention that earlier? It's That's delicious. awesome. It's delicious. Sweet. Like, I'm like, it's summer vacation, okay? And just out of nowhere, my mom comes home and is like, we're having Thanksgiving again. And I'm like, yes. Because we just awesome. get more turkey, more green bean casserole, more stuffing and gravy. Would you not agree that Thanksgiving has a different feel to it than Christmas Eve meal? Oh, yeah. It definitely has, like, there's the same general type of foods, mm -hmm. but it has a different feel. Well, yeah, well, here's the thing. On Thanksgiving, it's just about food. That's all you think about. But on Christmas Eve and Christmas, there's more things going on. So Making it's not, happy. food is not the center of the day. So that's why Thanksgiving is so unique. Now it's time for the big announcement. Jake and I are starting up the traveling food series where we're going to go to different restaurants Try food challenges and or just eat. Everything. So, one of the upcoming episodes, we will be at Spruce Creek Tavern taking on the burgers and the, the fry platter. And the wings. And we'll probably have some wings. We'll have everything. So, tune into that one. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Dudes on Food. Keep watching. we got a great episode lined up for you next week. Once again, please like, subscribe, and leave your comments down below on what you want to do, what you want us to do in the future. Stay hungry, my friends. Too complex. Too, 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 too complex. Too, 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 too complex.